When's the last time you saw LED bulb replacements that blew your mind? I'm about to show you something that you cannot miss if you're into upgrading lighting with LED or other super bright technology. Did you know that Xenon Depot made an all ceramic LED bulb that you can put in your parking lights, your turn signals, your brake lights, your cargo lights, your reverse lights, interior, everything. And the whole point was to make the world's most reliable and technologically efficient LED bulb replacement in the world. And they did it. LED bulbs are nothing new. You take out your old incandescent bulb, throw it in the garbage, and you pop in one of these. Something like the GTR lighting carbide bulb that has tons of LED chips around the perimeter that all shine out in different directions. The reason they've got to stack so many LED chips all the way around is because LED light is unidirectional, which means it points in one direction, it shines in one direction. These do not have a viewing angle. That's why a lot of products have a bubble or a lens over the LED to create a wider degree of light. Now, with headlights or fog lights, it's a little bit more of a touchy subject because beam pattern matters. But when it comes to your front turn signals, your rear turn signals, your cargo lights, reverse lights, interior lights, you just need something that does the best job. Enter Xenon Depot. If you don't know about Xenon Depot, they've been around for a long time, coming on the scene about 2001, and the whole focus is rugged reliability, technologically efficient lighting upgrades. The guy that invented these bulbs at Xenon Depot's name is Steve. How you doing, Steve? Steve had a vision for the future of LED technology where more is less. What you have here is a fully ceramic construction bulb. They're more thermally efficient than any other LED bulb in the world, and the way that they work is so genius. Instead of having a whole bunch of LEDs facing different directions, he used a upside down reflector to spread the light out when it goes down. So the way it works is instead of blasting the LEDs directionally inside the assembly to bounce off all the reflectors, instead it creates a glowing effect. It's this elegant looking light output that looks like an incandescent bulb, but it's brighter and in a much more desirable color. Now here's the funny thing. I was talking to a friend of mine probably 10 years ago and he had this exact idea. We we're in my garage and he's like, his name's Lance. What's up Lance? And he was like, what if instead of having all these, you could shoot one down and have like a reflector and go out? So you missed the boat. Sorry, man, Steve got you covered. When it comes to deciding which one to buy, you've got a few different things to consider. A, what bulb does your vehicle have now? Don't care if it's a car or a truck or a motorcycle or an off-road vehicle, they all use the same type of bulbs. There's five or six of them total. And then you have to decide what color. So first off, go to the website, headlightrevolution.com, put in your year, make and model, and we'll show you which of these C-series bulbs fit your truck. The other option is, on the Headlight Revolution blog, we have a cross-reference bulb lookup guide. Figure out which bulb you have, pull it out of the socket, read the name, go to the Headlight Revolution blog, we'll link it in the description of this video, and then do a search on the page for your bulb. Click the link, it'll show you which Xenon Depot bulb you can use for your project. Once you've figured out which bulbs you need for your project, then it's really important to choose the right color. Do not put a white LED bulb what I mean is the color of the LED chip is white behind an amber or a red lens. You wanna match that to the color of the LED bulb. When it comes to color, you got one more really exciting option if you're talking about front turn signals. A lot of people just throw an amber bulb where an amber bulb went, and that's fine. It works really well. But if you do not have an amber reflector in front of your front turn signal, you can use something called a switchback. Have you heard of switchback? Switchback just means it switches back and forth between white and amber. It's a really cool effect to modernizing a vehicle that didn't come with white daytime running light forward lighting from the factory. If you haven't already seen it, go check out the other video. If you have questions about switchback or you've never heard it before, this is a lighting technology that you've got to see for yourself. One more thing about turn signals. Rule of thumb is if you take out the old incandescent light bulb that has this wire wound filament and you replace it with an LED bulb, you're not going to have that filament anymore. And the filament creates a load in the electrical system that your vehicle's computer uses to recognize that you have a good bulb and to let it keep blinking. If you just pop in an LED bulb, it's going to have a hyper flash telling you the driver that it's not working. But chances are it's still going to be blinking because there's nothing wrong with it. The thing is, we need to trick the computer into thinking that your old school wire wound filament bulb is still in place. We do that with a load equalizing resistor. Luckily for us, Xenon Depot has probably the best 
resistor product on the market. And if you want to learn more about how to install resistors for LED turn signals, go check out our video titled How to Install Resistors for LED Bulbs. If you've been disappointed with other LED bulbs in the past, or this is your first time giving them a shot, you gotta try the Xenon Depot C-Series bulbs. Trust me when I say you won't be disappointed. If you wanna see what else fits your truck from LED bulbs to off-road lighting, full headlight and taillight assemblies and more, put in your year making model at the website headlightrevolution.com and you're gonna see the best of the best of what you can do to improve your driving safety, style, and performance.